such a rare sight for a stage to be adapted so well to film. Although I suppose the common theme here is theatrics. Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Alan Wake 2. Somehow, even as things become more surreal, they somehow become even more disturbingly realistic. I had said last time, this these murder sites are starting to feel like something out of Seven. Now, I know I had said that I was going to go about a process of alternating between Alan and Saga. However, I believe after we complete this by going to Parliament Tower, there will only be one Alan segment left. And so I think in this part, we'll figure out how Alan gets out of this jam and then move about seeing Saga's plan through to the end. Which film is this? Music by Adi and the Janitors. I just noticed that. This is so weird. I My biggest question in my mind right now is just what's going on with the two Alex Casey's. Onko täällä ketään? Ahti! <tos> Sanovat, se joka varjoon tyytyy, valon ihmeestä paitsi jää. <tos> Minulla 
oli sinua ikävä. Olit Veikon kanssa. Siksi lähdin. Hän on poissa. Ollut jo kauan. Kun nyt lähden, lähde kanssani. Mutta vasta tämän yön jälkeen. Tuhlaajapujan paluu. Ja häntä kuin vinvelis. <tuhlaajapujan> Tuliko hakemaan anteeksi, Antti? Uutiset mistään paluusta ovat ennenaikaisia. Tulin vain käymään. Ja nyt kun muistan, millaista tämä touhu täällä on, en viivy kauaa. Missäs veljesi luuraa? Pisti hengiltä. Rupes käymään aivoa se aina länkytys. Uhrilla ja mestarilla. Mutta ei se paskaveli kelvan edes siihen. Sä olit mestarin valittu. Vaikka mä koskaan ymmärtänyt, että miksi. Miksi palasit, kun kerran lähdit? En aikonut, mutta nyt löydän itseni täältä. Nyt on kai kirottu, kirjoitettu sadistisen kirjailijan tarina. Kierrän kehää. Maa on syklinen laulu. Miten siellä valtion kontrollivirastossa menee? Väärä virasto. En ole siellä töissä. Sitä paitsi, sain potkut. Ei olisi tarvetta talonmiehen apulaiselle. Ei ole. Tämän tilan isäntä katosi yön selkää vuosia sitten. Sen jälkeen kun sinä lähdit. Merkit on ilmassa, että multakin loppuu hommat pian. Siksi kyselen virastosta. Ehkä saan sieltä töitä.
ja sinut tuon puoleiseen. Sanotaan, että Aleen kurkotti liian pitkälle yön syövereihin. Eikä löytänyt sieltä enää pois. Kannattaa varaa sitä Aleenin mustaa leskeä. Taisit olla vähän heikkona häneen. Pelkäsin häntä. Me pojat oltiin aina vähän toivottomia naisten kanssa. Vie sinut tuon puoleiseen. Hän palaa. Ja sinut lukitaan huoneessa.
kierrä kehää. Tämä on spiraali. Wow, Zane's filmmaking is like if David Lynch decided to go in a more overtly horror direction with Inland Empire. And that's really saying something. I don't know why I should be surprised that after all the craziness we've seen that Sam Lake really would just drop a 20 minute movie into this game, but honestly, I think in its own language, just like everything else, it actually revealed a fair amount. This Alex Casey is aware that he's a slave to the writer, and presumably of the greater whole. Ati asking about the Bureau of Control, which this version doesn't seem to recognize. Oh, how could I forget? Adi also mentioning that uh, he feels like his time is almost up. And if this is indeed a spiral, well, that implies that all of this is going to be crashing at the bottom sometime soon, right? And the imagery of the well again, showing... Well, showing Ilmo as a murderer, as culpable as this other woman, is that maybe supposed to be Barbara Jagger? Probably would have known if I had looked at the credits in the beginning, but I thought it was just replaying what it showed before. Alright, well, you know the drill. We've got to get back to Parliament Tower. Oh, and apparently we have something new to see? Uh, but what? nightmare but I damn well try this case would never be closed I have more questions now than at the start the irony of being trapped in a postmodern detective story I felt watched the eyes of some unseen audience on me I wanted to turn to the hidden camera and tell them to fuck off but I didn't know where to look to break the fourth wall. There would always be another case for Casey. A million stories in this dark city. The night opened up to welcome me. I walked into her arms. Roll credits. We're all just playing our role. Right, well, to get out of here, we should need only to change the lobby. If we do Clip of the Lost Film, what'll it do? Because we didn't have that when we were last here. But that does enable us to a get out. That was a ritual. Literal movie magic. In a theater that hailed from a time when there was still magic in the silver screen. Huh, and as is typical for such things, the... American poster is a lot more overtly horror than the, uh, than the Finnish one. Thomas in the role of the writer in this one, showing the cyclical nature of this whole conflict and making it just impossible to tell where one thing starts and where another ends. Now in the film, Ilmo did also say that Casey was the sacrifice that was needed, the one that was wanted by the so-called master. So certainly helping the idea that he is the key here, whatever the key actually means. It's, it's gonna be one of his. It's gonna be one of his. Okay, move, move, move. See, my logic is that the farther I am away from them, the more maneuvering, the more clear maneuvering they have to do in order to reveal themselves. But if they dissolve even a little as I get close. Alright, well, we don't have time for this. Literally do not care about anything in the world right now. 
Besides getting into Parliament Tower, there we'll find more answers about what's going on with Alice and presumably. Again. Somehow I sensed it wasn't Zane this time. No. No, no, no. Let's go have a listen. I believe there's only one chapter left after we get through Parliament Tower of Alan's story, so we're going to be working on completing that now. Hello? Hello. It wasn't Zane. It wasn't Scratch, either. Huh? You're me? Me? I don't understand. There's a lot I don't understand. Same. The dark place operates in loops. Time is a story. I'm calling you from a different point in that story. From the future? I'm never getting out of here, am I? Yes, you will. And no, you won't. And that is by your own choice. What does that mean? I'm sorry for what you'll have to go through. Alice's photos you found from the shoebox in the talk show basement. Before you can go to Parliament Tower, you must put them in the shoebox at her statue at the plaza. To help you, to help Alice, to help Saga Anderson. I'm my own deus ex machina? Really? Now that's meta. How many writers does it take to finish a story? One for each draft. It's the same writer, but in a different point in time. I'd follow the steps he laid out for me. Alice's photos from the talk show building basement. Adi had guided me there. I bring the photos to the shoebox by the statue. Alright, so I'm very certain at this point, if I wasn't already, that Adi himself is like some kind of guiding entity. But at the base of the statue, well... We're gonna do this because I'm starting to wonder if there's not maybe multiple endings. Because we didn't have to go down to the basement and get these photos. We didn't have to go and answer the phone before entering Parliament Tower. So just what is all this meant to be? Alan even explicitly said it wasn't Scratch on the phone. statue itself having changed, I think. Wait. Wait, we're going back to Saga? Why? I, I was gonna finish up Alan's stuff, but... I guess this helps us here directly now. Well, we better be heading out. Nothing left for us here anymore. Uh, agreed. Well, who knows? Maybe she'll come and haunt us. We better be sometime. heading out. I hope so. Okay. Well, <laughs> overlapping dialogue aside, it's weird. I've gotten really invested in the dialogue of these two random NPCs outside the hotel. I'm sorry, everyone. Excuse me while I grab this bumper. This game is just so absolutely gorgeous looking. So we have to come up with a plan, but I have no idea. It doesn't tell me how to actually go about doing that. Do we just have to complete the case board as much as possible? Hang on. I will use the clicker to change reality and bring Wake back at Cauldron Lake. I'll need the right work of art, but that won't be a problem. I wonder how she is actually going to receive those photos. It's said that it would help Saga somehow. Hello. I'm still seeing spots from those lights. What the heck was that about? Can anybody see inside? Are, are they still there? Every time something exciting happens in this town, I miss it. I'm still seeing spots from those lights. What the heck was that about? Yeah, you said that already. Wow, I'm starting to get real irritated with these gawkers. I'm starting to wonder if Casey in those films isn't maybe Casey in the future of this. 
Like, this one simply doesn't know that he'll be doing that yet, but he is actually the same guy. Which would raise all kinds of implications about the Warland door that that Breaker is tracking down. All right. Well, we've gained access to the area behind the police station parking lot. Call box. A work log, January first. Overprivileged town hall folks complaining about poor TV reception. Hopefully not due to the paint job. January seventeenth. Took a photo with the giant moose statue in the park. Great memento. February 2nd, dogs keep digging up the flowers. February 31st, February 31st. Park's trash can needed fresh cone of paint, painted an extra layer. March 3rd, tried painting the large tree in the park, but the weather was too hot. Cooled down on a bench in the sheltered area and had an epiphany. And March 26th, replaced a screw on the purple park bench. The park's trash can needed a fresh cone of paint on February 31st. Well, maybe we'll go have a look at that. I guess business continues as usual in here. I'm actually really grateful we finally have the chance to see this place at night. Yes, thank you, sir. Oh, you made my point for me. I might be back for another bumper later. Anyway, let's go see this park. Repainted the park trash can, you said. Well, there's nothing here. Uh, oh, wow, there is a lunchbox Another right over here. Oh, how did I miss this before? You wouldn't believe how hard it was to track down these lunchboxes. Thank goodness for the internet. Yeah. Is that a joke for all the people who will Google them? You're still here. Mm -hmm. You've been here since I visited before, and in the dark... We can see this cult symbol. Oh wait, there's another one over here. You. And so there's gotta be, there's probably one more somewhere around here then, right? Yes. Uh, it was the, it was the non-existent date that got my attention, but all of them were here and significant. Now we just gotta put them in order. There we go. And there we go. Uh, Saga, you've got your own flashbangs. Uh, but my inventory is probably full. Monsters live in the woods. Sure they do. Oh wait, you can't take that? There we go. Huh. wonder why you couldn't pick it up. Anyway, let's go present our plan. That one was fun. Alright all, I went for a walk and I got it. So we need Wake to fix the story, right? That hasn't changed. So here's what I have. Wake's still trapped in the dark place, under the lake. I think we can use the clicker to get him out. But first, we need a work of art. Something other than his story. And that'll get him here. I'm not filling out the paperwork for this one. I wouldn't know where to start. But I'm sold. Okay. Look, this feels like something that once we get the ball rolling, there's no turning back. You sure you have it all figured out? This is the beginning of the end game. To travel to Cauldron Lake, you need to save first. Exploring and traveling to other areas will be limited if you choose to continue. Not yet. Not just yet. Give me a moment. Okay, Anderson. You let me know when you're ready. I'm gonna do Alan's last thing first. I mean, I've been trying to Google to see, like, what the best way to go about this would be, but it is such a tightrope to look that up without subjecting myself to spoilers, and I feel like I came close to spoiling myself, like, a couple of times, and so I'm just, I'm just gonna panic out and see what I can do and get into Parliament Tower. I have placed the stuff in Alice's statue, which was my statue before. Now, what am I, chopped liver? But let's finish things here. It's closed. No. The building was condemned. Closed up. 
Something was wrong. Something was missing. I had to get inside. But, oh, I actually have to progress Saga's story before I can continue this now. Okay, could have saved myself a lot of work. Carry on. Hey. I just saw another cult symbol on the side of the building here. Triangle graffiti found around town. Is it the end game and I'm just figuring out about a new kind of collectible? Alright, no time for this right now. I should have just trusted the game when it switched perspectives. Ready to go? I am. It's having me make a manual save here. Okay, let's place it down. I'm ready to head to Cauldron Lake now. Let's get the plan started. Okay, here we go. We'll be there for you. What do you need from us? I'll head to Cauldron Lake with the clicker. Scratch will try to get you, Anderson. You'll need backup. I can tell there's no talking you out of coming, Casey. Estevez, is there a way to get that light array to the lake? Oh, I've got you covered, so good news there. And we'll bring our mobile containment unit. It's specially built for entities like Scratch. And this work of art, Anderson. What's the plan for that? I'll make some calls on the way. Just meet me at Cauldron Lake. I can't wait to see what you have in mind, what you so intuitively thought of. Tor, I need the old gods of Asgard. I need a very special song. <laughs> you saw this coming, huh? Of course. I need a song about Alan Wake, about bringing him out of the dark place. They've still got it. Well, I think they do. I mean, they've still got enough supernatural energy in them for their voice to come from a specific location, even though I'm talking into a phone. Pick up, pick up. David, please pick up. David. David! It's me. Where have you- Stop. For once, you need to listen. You left me. You took my daughter away from me. Then you let her... She's dead because of you. And I don't ever want to hear your voice again. Stop calling me. It's getting worse. It's spreading. I'm running out of time. All good horror stories end where they began. So we've got to make our way down to the lake then. It's a hole torn in the fence. Reminds me of old times, going out with the aid of a helicopter. I just hope it goes a little better this time. I hear you out there. I have the gear to take you on. I just don't much feel like it. Okay. 
chaos at Cauldron Lake. Rampage at the rental cabins. Unidentified man attacks vacationers in the dead of night. Yeah, you just wait back there. I'm reading something. Sunday. And I... I no, oh, wow, you're not. Ow. Okay, well... I feel less bad now that you're being so rude. God, you know, you'd think that if you come up on someone who's face deep in a newspaper that you would just understand that they're doing something. Another eyewitness who preferred to remain anonymous said, It's like he appeared out of nowhere. Suddenly my dog starts barking his head off and the psycho guy comes crashing through the trees. Don't think I'll ever feel safe in the forest again. Alright. Starting fires is prohibited. Well... We'll try not to. Maybe I should check in. We're almost at the gig! And Odin's run over four minions of darkness! The boss is our hammer! I'm driving with one hand! I need you to meet me at the shore. Is the song ready? Almost! Odin's got a killer! Whoa! <laughs> So you guys seemed so solemn and serious since your granddaughter entered the picture. I'm so happy that you guys haven't lost it. I am so happy to see you guys get to behave in this way all the way up until these times. <laughs> uh, looks like they lost something, but at least they didn't lose it. Well, let's follow them, I suppose. Ooh, we can, uh, we can maybe have a save inside the witch's cabin. Here we are. I feel like writers of characters could stand to take note from this. When you have history with these people, when you've established them so well, even simple moments like this can seem so exciting and serve these characters so well. But it looks like we're heading down that way, which I don't believe was actually accessible to us before. I haven't actually done any real free roaming, and so I haven't actually seen this area when it was free of the flooding. Well, nice of them to wait for me. I really can't just climb onto the back. These are those dark nights, though, that we've grown so used to. In fact, this might actually be the first actual night where we're roaming around in the woods. All the other nights were basically fake. Brought on by uh, the overlap. Howdy, bro. No, you don't. You don't mess with my grandpa. Only I get to do that. Oh, there's somebody else out here. No, you don't. Where'd you go? Nope. Nope. Bang. I'm gonna need you to stop running interference with this guy. Thank you, please. Nope. And bang. I feel like I'm getting more competent with the pistol. For example, I'm never gonna get used to this. Well, if you haven't by now, you're probably right. Wait, six plus two plus three. Another locked box. Oh no, three plus three. Uh, so is there something else around? Perhaps in the opposite direction? Well, I'll tell you what. Rock, rock, tree. Are you bright enough? Uh, 
Okay, so that's tree. Rock. What's the other rock? Well, I'll tell you what, if tree is the third, then the last one is eight, then six before that, and then we can brute force one. There we go. Are you one of us or one of them? Uh, depends, I guess, on who's asking. The lights in the containment cell are good to go, Anderson. Great. The Torin Ode in there yet? <laughs> the two golden oldies? Oh, they're here. And they bought moonshine. I love them already. <laughs> they're a lot. You wanted to know what art we would use? Well, that's them. I'll be there soon. I don't think I killed these guys. Uh, can we just <laughs> can we just cut this off? All oh, right, I forgot about the screwdriver. Oh, there we are. On my own time, I am going to come back and maybe go for a completionist run of this. I think it would be pretty fun, actually. One, two. One, two. Oh. Let's uh, hurry up and make sure we get a good seat. Nope. Oh, so now the flashlight will work on you. Alright, hang on. Uh. Alright, I reloaded because I spent way more than I would like on this in terms of ammo. So where are you? I see your shimmer. Let's just toss this out here. Come on, you. Right this way. I know you're here. What, now that I'm using resources, you're just not going to show up? Two of you and now nothing? Well, at least I can still pick you up. But any time that invitation still stands, I should also get some of these gun upgrades. I do not have enough battery for this. Any response? No? Oh, this is the only taken that just knows when she's in over her head. Testing. 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 Gonna need more reverb. I get no bounce out here. <laughs> Yep, these are the sounds of the thing in the lake's doom. Hey, where are my chimes? I threw them out. Chimes are not rock and roll. Yeah, they are. Hey, Just like I'm here. Time, I'm here. Let's get Fighting ready. Fighting the forces of darkness with Anderson, heavy metal. Anderson, we set up a control center up here overlooking the area. Anderson, I can drop more gear down for you to run and love. I'll use the lights to hit the Taken when they come. Light them up for you. Bad news is, we were in a hurry. The power supply is spotty. Your partner here will try to keep it running. I, I'm not a damn mechanic. I wish your tech guy was here, Karen. Uh, so whatever did end up happening to Steven... Uh, maybe he's one of the Taken we dealt with at the police station. Point is... I am so ready to rock and roll. This will be a show for the ages! Er... I upgrade my guns. Some supplies. I will take them. We're ready when you are. Yeah, and I don't feel particularly ready. Kiddo, we're ready to rock and roll. Just say when. All right, let's do it. Grandpa, you signal me when the song is done, and I'll use the clicker to bring Wake back. Hit it. I knew we'd be doing another one of these. Great to see so many federal agents here tonight. <laughs> Prepare to experience a soul searing, mind frying act of black magic and sorcery. This song goes out to our favorite tortured writer. Let these sweet tunes guide you out of the darkness. It's called Dark Ocean Summer Name. Me look 
bad in front of Saga, bro. Uh, let's try that again. Uh. Here it comes. Whoa. <laughs> Here they come. As uh, much as I'd love to stay and watch. Where are they? Alright, switch to the... Ow. You're going to take care of that for me. Uh, making the shotgun considerably more useful. Uh, sorry, this is one of yours. I shouldn't be joking. Please stop holding your hands up like that. All right, give me a chance to reload. Come on. All right, thanks for being patient. Oh, this is so awesome. This is so much better than even the farm show. You guys have outdone yourselves. Because, uh, you know, this allows me to do cool stuff like this. I love this game. I love this game. This is so cool. This feels so cool. Uh... After all the problems I had with the combat, it gives us this. Come on. And it's just going to give us all we need. All I need. Inventory full, not to my recollection. Oh, here come the uh, watery ones. That's all right. We've got a solution for them as well. Feels so good to work as a team, doesn't it? Yeah, you don't do so well in actual water, do you? Alright, don't worry, there's plenty more to go around. And when you die, you'll give me more, so... Thanks for bringing the party with you. You guys are good guests. Honestly, we really couldn't have asked for a better audience tonight. Let's uh, let's start at least trying to hit the uh, to hit the weak points. Look at all this ammo! <laughs> oh, we brought the pyrotechnics. I knew they would. Thank you. Let's just load this up. I know there's one of you over here. Uh, this is a true concert for the ages. Way better than the one the writer put on using your equipment. Oh wow, you're still uh, you're still up. Hang on, can you guys uh, can you guys hit the lights, please? Uh, who cares? I'll just toss this out. Same thing anyway. Thanks. The one time the Epic Games thing doesn't feel inappropriate, I forgot to turn it off this session. I, I never thought I would enjoy a combat section that is basically the culmination of everything I had thought was wrong with it up until this point. But here we are. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, we gotta back up. In my haste, I'd forgotten to heal. All right, flash out. There we go. Now, sir, if you would. We gotta, we gotta heal, we gotta heal. This is actually starting to overwhelm quite quickly now. Here we go. Oh, handle this to have more explosives right now. Oh, it killed like all of you. Uh, all right, heal. I'm so ahead of myself. 
Something more. Something more. All right, can I just, uh, can I just collect a bit more? Oh God, that was so awesome. May the power of rock and roll bring you back to us. What happened? Why didn't it work? I did everything right. Art to bring him back? Clicker to make it real? So where the fuck is he? Yeah, the lake's mechanics are like really kind of broken. may not have brought us back, but it did something. This is so cool, the way... It's a parallel story in disguise. How they lead us through most of this side campaign thinking that it takes place before, when actually it was happening right beside the main story all along. But this version of Parliament Tower, many times before. a ruin of what it was. Me. This felt different, like my last chance. If it wasn't already too late. Which is why we take a moment to heal. No matter what you throw at me after this, no matter what gut-wrenching horrors you throw my way, I'm gonna remember this game for that. Nobody lived here anymore. Was I too late? There's rooms off to the sides. The full apartment, but Alice's dark room taken down. I can hear a snarling. The dark place, the art of Alice Wake. Wait, but what about... What about the door? Wait. in there, writing his horror story. There was still time to stop him. I needed to get inside. Well, only one way to do that. Is that a fat joke? The monster just keeps coming back. Every night. Like waves hitting the shore. I'm... I'm so tired. He's here all the time. There's so much rage inside of him, I can't stand it anymore. God, I tried so hard. I can't. I can't. I 
made a decision. Most of you won't understand. People call me an artist. But I don't care about any of that. I just wanted to show the world what I see. I can't keep going like I have been. It's time for a perspective shift. To go from photographer to subject. From artist to art. Alice Wake took her own life shortly after completing her work on The Dark Place. She will be missed, but will live on through her art. What follows are her final photographs. Is she looking out over the lake? She dove in herself. Alice was dead. Scratch tortured her until she couldn't stand it anymore. Until she broke. And all that time, she thought it was me. Scratch was still here. He hadn't escaped the dark place yet. He was scratching my edits out of return. seen this before. This was not Scratch. This was me. Caught in a loop. I had stopped myself trying to fix the manuscript. I was the one haunting Alice. It was always me. I killed her. So maybe I was more right than I believed. Maybe in this loop, in this way, we really were always scratch one and the same. We did bring Wake back from the dark place with the song and the clicker. But he didn't end up here now. He landed on the shore after I faced Nightingale in the overlap. Hey! Are you okay? Oh, no! It's my fault! He got out with my face! Scratch! That night I found Wake here. He appeared because of this the summoning that was wake scratch wasn't pretending to be wake they're the same Son person bitch. he's here scratch watch out anderson Estevez, scratch is wake with the dark presence inside him he wants the clicker change of plan 
I'll lure him to the cell. When we're inside, lock it and blast it with all you got. Let's go. So what am I supposed to do for my part here? Okay. Yeah, really gonna need you to uh, do something about that. Nope. Uh. I don't understand how I'm supposed to use this. So I just have to do this until you can pin him. And then do this for as long as possible. Keep going, just 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 keep going. Do as much as you can. He won't hurt you much during this. There's one. It's not about hitting him a lot, it's about hitting him as much as possible. Ow. Bang. And bang. And keep it going. Should be able to get it on this one if we are persistent. There. The lights are ready. Now what? Oh, we've got to do this at least once more, probably three. Well, that's an issue. Eh. Okay, we don't need that much ammo, I don't think. Ow! Unless you do shenanigans such as that. And we are in. Number two. Yeah, we need him in the cell, but uh, one thing at a time. Uh, it's got to be. You follow me here. Uh, what, what are we doing? Thirteen ghosts right now. So an opening in a container is not a thing that you want to happen, right? I'm sorry. Wake? Is it you? I'm so sorry. Did it work? Estevez? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, folks, but it's official. Tear Fist is canceled. Today, Bright Falls feels a little less bright. Was that part of the sequence of photos that we placed in the shoebox? Okay, well you're crazy if you don't think I'm going straight through to the end right now.
We are seeing this thing through to the end in this part. I cannot stand up from this chair without seeing how this shakes out. He was always the one. He was the chosen. In that sense, it's almost like Alex Casey is more real than Alan himself. This song is just making me think back to how it gave us our most triumphant moment right before our darkest hour. Wait, we are Alan. We need to get to our next gig. We're doing this for you and our lovely saga. You take care of things on this side. I'm screwing up, Tom. I'd seen it all play out. Like a horror movie I'd been forced to watch. But the dark presence held all the cards now. You guys are entering this overlap, this portal that we just created. I'll take it on faith that you know what you're doing. And you always did know more than you let on. Alan's got nothing to his name. But I suppose in this way he did finally get out. That explains so many questions. His, some of his behavior after getting out, some of his behavior in the dark place itself. Oddly enough, in its own way, this does all make sense now. And we never did find that rifle. But it seems like we're starting here from scratch. What happened to Estevez? And also, maybe I shouldn't be using phrases like that. Wait. And why am I wearing... A Coscula Brothers jacket. Oh, there you are. Welcome back, Wake. You are Wake now, right? With the shadow out of you? Some good news, at least. Bad news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. The shadow's now in Alex, and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how to salvage this. I'll do anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. It's never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. The only question now is... Are you able to fix this? I can try. Not the most encouraging answer, but we'll make it work. Scratch. The dark presence inside Casey. It threw Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. It took me 13 years to get out. Zane never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll get her out. But the power of rock and roll. I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. <laughs> It is so... I can't believe that in the middle of all this, they just call attention to something that, knowing what we know now, is just genuinely funny. I had talked about how them being there was so creepy, knowing it's not really them, seeing such, like, younger versions of them. And now to find out, oh wait, that probably totally was just what they do when they're bored. Or at least something they feel they have to do. What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the Dark Presence is occupying Agent Casey? When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he has the clicker. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for Return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. I need to go after him. Well, you won't get very far without these. This plan is a real Hail Mary wake. I wish I could help. This is all on you. I got you every kind of weapon we have available. Don't fuck it up. 
Wow, so every kind of weapon you have available, the people who brought in all these crates, a helicopter, this containment unit, these, the exact things I had in the dark place. Well, thank you, Agent Estevez. Thank you for no ammo. Well, I guess we got something at least. And now we exit through uh, the very same log that we crawled under after leaving Alan when we first pulled him out. Uh, it did it! It happened! Alan woke up! Okay, we can stop the Let's Play now. Stop the dark presence. And that is precisely what I intend to do. Okay, game. You have one last chance to throw some taken wolves at me. I know your artist spent a lot of time on those animations. We've only seen them twice in the entire game. Yep. Oh, come on now. Don't be a problem for me, please. Back in the saddle. And once again, the guiding light of the witch's hut beckons to us through the gap in the witch's ladle. But because of that tree fall, still a long way to go between here and there. Howdy guys, howdy. I'm gonna try and use my strat from before, where I hide in here. And then just kind of make a run for it when you guys patrol around me. Uh, if that'll work for me. Witchfinder's Station. I hadn't taken notice of that sign before, but it's real weird. You're not moving, and you're the one I need to move. All right, well, how about we kill just you and make a big ol' run for it beyond that. Uh, reload, reload, reload. I think we're gonna have to fight you, actually. Oh, and there's more, there's more up ahead. Yeah, uh, can we climb up here? No. Okay, dodge, dodge. Sometimes getting close and dodging is the best way to buy some time. Uh, Alan, oh my god, you're actually exactly as out of shape as you were before. I had gotten so used to Saga. Or maybe it's because we're low on health. Whatever. Just keep moving. These guys aren't the speedies, so... This does nothing if it's not completely blinding you. Just wait here. With this stuff, we have some health. You stay out of the light, you. Or actually, better yet, just die. Thank you. You seemed very relieved to die. More mind place, no more plot board. Oh, that station's gone nuts. Uh, okay, hopefully the gate is still. Nah, no, that's what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. Yep, 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 yep. Tell you what, uh, if you guys can all just like uh, bunch up. Bunching up is the hottest new craze. All the cool taken are doing it. But no, not like that. Yeah, more like that. That's that's the way it's really done. Everybody do what they're doing. Yeah. Well, you know how trends are. If you don't hop on the bandwagon early, you get left behind. Please actually work. They just will not stop coming. Okay. Oh, they're actually having the presence of mind to retreat. Well, it's not going to work out for them. Come on. There we go. All right, two rounds. Nope. Wait, are you are you re are you re-upped? You are. 
Well, no matter. Oh man, that was a bunch of them, and we are not as well equipped as uh, Saga was before. We have, like, no battery left. Thankfully, this should be just about the last stop on the way. Can't even check my map to find out if there's going to be anything inside the station. And we can't... Yes, we can't open. It took you long enough to give me the prompt. In the dark place, the dark presence went into me. When I was pulled back here, crossing over and weakened it. Made it dormant. I couldn't remember what had happened. But I could feel it. Getting stronger. Waking up. I thought it was haunting me. Closing in. It was inside me the whole time, and then it took over. It turned me into scratch. Which means we still have work to do. And most likely that we're on a time limit here. Also, don't think I don't see what we're doing here. Starting off the game, having us come down this winding path. And then having us end it by rising up out of it as Alan, the person we were here for to begin with. Well, we as the audience, not Saga. Parking lot should be just up ahead. We took the scenic route. I hope she left her keys. I had to get to Bright Falls. See this through to the end. I brought Saga Anderson into this story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim too. Saga, Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. If Scratch had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. In 2010, I had dived in. A leap of faith for Alice. With no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. It had taken me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead. Because of me. And I was going to make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well. One last Another time. To look at it, I had brought the dark place here with me. I never had gotten out. Maybe after this I finally could. It was a fool's hope. I had no choice. I had to do it. That didn't make me any less terrified. Fuck it. This is not what I expected. It's Deerfest, all right, but they're all wearing the plastic masks used by the cult. Return shines a light on its author's brilliantly dark mind. 
Are those the bookers? Wait, Alan Wake, return. Okay, I was wondering why it was doing this and... Well, now it's all too clear. So that's what's going on here. It's increasing its power by making itself the source of all this attention. Perhaps we'll never know indeed. I'm starting to wonder if this isn't just like a twisted representation that maybe these people know they're here and they're all just compelled to play their role. Alright, how do I go about getting a copy of my own book around here? Yes, because, you know, when I when I experience some truly compelling media like I'm doing right now, I go out on the street and I just, like, scream my observations. The old gods of Asgard are back. Wake clearly knows what his fans want to see. I don't like the way you're looking at me. Does the nursing home itself not exist in this little pocket dimension? There's Ilmo. I could see the round windows of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go. To rewrite the ending of Return. It's a sick, sick story! Okay, uh, uh, run, run, uh, up the back, yep, go, 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 uh, I love how this is what he always wanted and his worst nightmare. I had the book now, I could write my 
my ending to return. I had to get to the writer's room to stop this horror story. But that house on the back didn't look like the house at Cauldron Lake. This was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare, all revolving around a vain monster of a writer and his final divine work of art. The novel returned come true. It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading. I hadn't even seen that. The door upstairs. The door upstairs! It was always this place. I probably could have seen this had I... had I bothered to look from this angle. This game just hides meaning in places I would never even expect. There is so much foreshadowing. Uh, everything comes back into play. Oh, great. Including the electronic locks. I mean, I was... I had to find another way inside. I mean, I was caught up in the moment before, but... The emotion of him standing here, ready to self-sacrifice, knowing what's ahead of him, and clicking on that flashlight one more time, creating the original, like, logo in the process, that is brilliance. That is absolute brilliance. I'm just looking around hoping that it doesn't want me to go in through the basement. And it doesn't. Excellent. Oh, but... Maybe we can enter through the wellness center. Alice? What was that? Alice was dead. Was this a trap? Or was Scratch torturing me? Once again pointing out, she jumped into the lake. Alan, the lake. I mean, if you're not dead, why should she be? Somehow this place is even creepier than before. Okay, let's keep following this way. Using her to lure me? Fuck. Well, at least I can run faster. Oh, I knew this hallway would be for something at some point. I just knew it. <laughs> and Alan has always had a way with words. Nope. This way, this way, this way, this way. At least the doors are still working. Rose, you were the last person I expected to save the day. Rose, right? From the diner. How are you here? <laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. <gasps> oh, I get it. Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. But now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. Right. Thank you, Rose. I'll do what I can. Uh, help coming from the most unlikely of places anything, I had thought that you were still taken, that you would be pulling something like this in the opposite direction, but thank you. Just the one dull light hanging in the lobby. Upstairs. The writer's room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. Yes. But now I'm starting to wonder when we'll next encounter Adi. 
I mean, he's been guiding this this whole way, hasn't he? Yep, 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 uh, and yet it was no less of a jump scare. Put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and pileta. Water is the oldest bulb. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can give life or drown it. Akti. I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm, now there's a devil in the fish trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. Okay. I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. The matter is a stake. Now comes the end of the rhyme. Thank you, Ati. You know, it's now that I'm realizing I never did any of those rhyme things. But... I've kind of figured you'd be the one to unlock this for us in the end. Just not for Saga. His description of water almost reads like a description of what a story is, doesn't it? I was here. I needed to write the ending. I only had one chance to get this right. I needed an ending that took everything already in return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. Eternal Deerfest. That sounds like the exact opposite of a perfect ending. The novel Return Come True. My final divine work of art. First granted to the people of Bright Falls. And over time it would spread. The celebration reaching everyone, turning the whole world into a celebration of Alan and his writing. Our dream become our nightmare. But what can we do? Well, besides write, of course. Return's ending was an eternal deer fest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for Return. A perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread dangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. Uh huh. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is Aero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. I would like the that. will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance. I mean, it's not like we asked to be here in the first place. But, let's pay the price. Just like he said in the first game. Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before. But it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. Oh. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker.
still one more chapter left. And at 2 hours 17 minutes recording, I'm not done yet. And 20 minutes of that was Nightless Night anyway. I think it's such a brilliant thing that only this specific story can do, where we are simultaneously the architect and the hero of this horror. Through darkest, dark, I'm pushing through. And he plays us a triumphant song, followed by more melancholy lyrics, letting us know that we are, one way or another, reaching the end, and that it will have to have a cost. Echoing what we thought we were doing at the end of the first game. But we have to make it right now. going on? Am I in the field office? No. It's the mine place. So this... You've always been able to enter the dark place. That's what this has always been. You just had your own little corner of it. That is so... My work. It's all gone. What the hell is happening? Honestly, thank God, because it was really slowing down the pace of the game. I can't sense anyone. Not even Odin and Tor? I can't leave. Why can't I leave? Well, maybe we can start figuring it out? The Dark Presence took over Casey, stole the clicker from me. The last thing I remember is him throwing me into Cauldron Lake. I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. That wasn't me. Was it? What? Failed who? What's happening to the case board? It's progressing on its own. Uh, nothing else in the drawer. I need to find evidence. Oh, there's another saga as well. The board says I failed them. Who's them? I let everyone down. Logan, Casey, myself. This is my fault. My daughter is dead. My partner was taken over by a monster. I'm trapped in a dark place. Powerless. I'm not powerless. What is happening here? This isn't me. Logan. I neglected my family for my job. I was too thrilled by the cases. The mysteries. I liked how dangerous the work was. And now that danger has destroyed my family. It killed my daughter. No. Casey. Casey depended on me, and I let him down. I wasn't watching his back. I got wrapped up chasing the wrong lead. He needed me. Now he's turned into a monster. He needed me. I am a terrible mother. I let my daughter die. Scratch took Casey, and it's my fucking fault. I'm a failure. This is what I deserve. It's just all self accusations. My life, my family. 
Ripley is just part of a book. Another white asshole deciding what I get to do, how I get to do it. He took my daughter from me. I'll never be free of this story from him. He used her. Are these thoughts maybe meant to be a spiraling? Of trying to get the author and the co-author fighting so as to divide and conquer so we're not helping each other. She's not dead. God damn it. It's just feeding us the same thing over and over. All the way across the board. No! I'm done with this. It just keeps coming back. Moving more into shadow as it goes. Wait, each one comes with something. You're the only one who won't accept she's dead. What makes more sense? Everyone is wrong or you are? If you hadn't been at work, she'd still be alive. She died alone and scared, begging for your help, and you weren't there. As the water filled her lungs, she realized you weren't coming. Can you even still call yourself a mother after you let your only child die? You're blaming a horror story instead of yourself, you coward. Admit she's dead and you killed her. Something's very fucking wrong here. I had considered the idea that that was the one thing that actually wasn't Wake's doing. Night Springs. Logan and David love that show. Their weekly ritual. I took Logan away from her father. And there's something over here as well. Uh. Casey was being corrupted and I did nothing. Injury report. 2218, subject seems physically weakened with some confusion about his whereabouts and events. Similar symptoms to those becoming shaded individuals. The exposure to the shadow is suspected, but not confirmed. You knew he was hurt. You knew the Dark Presence did something to him. You didn't care. You only pretended to care when it was convenient, and the second he became a liability, you let Scratch have him. No argument there. Scratch was wake. How could I miss that? And this is the document from before, ending now in, There were so many hints. How did you miss this? Wake was Scratch. It was right under your nose. Wake was Scratch. There's no way out! Everything that I had criticized, everything I thought was just oversight. All of it was in service of this. What? <sighs> well, that's just petty. You should never have brought him to Cauldron Lake, right to scratch. But there's more to be found. I never should have trusted these. I used manuscript pages as a crutch instead of just doing my job. This case, this room, is any of it even real? Casey was hurt. I should have been watching his back. What is this? He needed backup and you weren't there. This has all been a hallucination. It feels like I'm trapped in a nightmare. Stuck in an echo chamber with all my fears, my doubts, my insecurities. Everything you've questioned throughout. You tried to stay positive. This... This is you being manipulated now. What the hell? The pages were your excuse for always being one step behind. Things are appearing as we go. I spent too much time away from Logan. The cult was just the beginning of the spiral. Well, at least you know it's a spiral. Which may be the first step. What? 
No. She spent every day by herself in that trailer. There must be more. There is more. Logan. The horror story used her. I've had it with you cultist maniacs! I never should have left Casey at the hotel by himself. It was so obvious the Koskala brothers were behind the cult. No. You were so eager to be in charge that you left him behind. I hate this, but it's all true. I had tried to silence these thoughts, focus on the case, but I can't escape them anymore. I'm drowning. I need a way out before I'm dragged under. Shit! You couldn't face what happened, so you cracked. Oh my god! Okay, credit for a good jump scare. Literally in our safety bubble. And the only one like it in like, what, 20 something hours? But we need to do what we've always done, what got us this far, and just focus on finishing this. No. There has to be a way out. I need a way out. Oh god. None of this is real. I've lost it. I'm not even here. The mind place isn't real. A case about supernatural darkness. I'm having a full-on psychotic break. I dragged Logan away to a tin can in watery. She's dead because of me. There has to be a way out. Despair is what it needs. I mean, listen to the words of the Taken. I need a way out. It's over. There's no point trying. Everything is lost. There's no way out. No way to fix this. There's no way out. I'm stuck here forever. Just me and my past. My guilt. My mistakes. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm stuck. But this is my mind place. My mind. Everything I need is here. It, it has to be. I hope you're right. Oh! The lights! No. No. I'm not giving up. Focus, Saga. The answers I need are here somewhere. I just have to look. Each time we do this, the room gets a little brighter. Scratch was too much for us. I should have made KC stay behind. I am honored by this award. Thank you. While our agency must continue to improve, the work we do here, protecting communities, pursuing the truth, it's the most important work there is. In the end, all the things that will make us whole are the things that have been here in the mind place all along. Hey mom, I made you a charm bracelet for good luck. I made a matching one for me, so bring me back something cool from Washington. 
And that memory would seem to confirm she would have to be alive. My badge. Never should have taken this case. Hey. hey. Just calling just to say calling thanks for your note. note. Oh, sometimes, sometimes I just I get just in my head, in my too, head much. too much. So, so. Thanks, for thanks for pulling me out. Me out. You're really You're the best, really boss. boss. Really. really. Okay. okay. Talk soon. Talk soon. When things get dark, remember to trust and love yourself as much as your family does. Anderson, uh, look, look, after Rand left, it was, uh, well, well, I was in a, was in a bad, bad place. place. You dragged me to those dinners at your house with your family. It really, uh, Meant a lot, a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So for all that, he really did appreciate us. Is this everything? I can't do this. Casey trusts me. I know he does. I'll just let him down again. I might not always be the best partner, but Casey trusted me. He wouldn't give up and neither will I. Casey's still in there. I'm sure of it. Logan isn't anyone's plot device. She's my daughter. And she's not dead. Dead! She's dead! I didn't save her. Fuck, no! I can't let this place make me question myself. I know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. No, this is all real. I know it is. Yeah, it's not too late. I can still save them. No matter what I do, someone will get hurt. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid. I'm my own worst enemy. The fears in my head are stopping me from trying. From leaving. What the fuck? Okay, maybe you could have had more dialogue for this section. Kind of funny to see you respond to the positives in that way. It's okay to be afraid. But I can't let this end here. I can't, I can't, I can't. I just, I just want it to stop. Giving up won't make this stop. Logan needs me. Casey needs me. I wish I'd been there for Casey, but I know he wouldn't want me to blame myself for this. We can't control every outcome. He taught me that. I haven't lost it. At least not yet. This is all real. This place wants me to doubt myself, but I can't. I still have work to do. If I were a bad detective, I'd probably be dead by now. Blaming myself for past mistakes won't solve the case. She's not dead. And I won't let some story convince me that I let her die. And I might not be the perfect mom, but I've done my best. Logan loves me, and I love her. I've made mistakes. I'll make more. But I can do better. And I can start by leaving this room. I'm afraid it will hurt. But nothing will hurt more than not trying to save them. It will hurt. But I will fight. I'm so close. The dark place wants me to hate myself. But I just need to get inside my own head. I wonder if this isn't the process with all the Taken. Alan never gave up after 13 years. God damn it! The dark place tried to trap me here. The only way to leave is facing it head on. Wake called it a nightmare. I need to dive into that nightmare and find a way back home.
the dark place tried to weaponize my anxieties against me. I won't let it turn me into a Taken. I'm stronger than that and Logan needs me. It's all back. All of it. But we can't use any of this right now. I think what we need to do now is just try and leave. Fully in it now. The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. And now this place has gone totally dark. No shadows, no lights, no nothing. Sex Machina. Sheriff Breaker? Sheriff Breaker. Agent Anderson. Is that really you? Sorry, this place likes to play tricks. Sheriff Breaker? What happened to you? How did you end up in the dark place? I was brought here. Snatched away from the morgue by a man named Orlin Dorr. Been trying to piece it together for... <laughs> well, it feels like a long time now. Who is this Dorr person? He's here. Somewhere. I've been seeing his face in my dreams for years. <laughs> this whole thing is insane. But he is much more than he seems. He's connected to all of this. I need to get to Parliament Tower Plaza. Do you have any idea where it is? This place, it's like trying to find your way around in a dream. I've been trying to map it, but it keeps looping, shifting. There are many versions stacked on top of each other. There is a page. Describes Dor finding his way through this place. I tried to follow the steps, but... No luck. Can I see that page, Tim? Of course. In fact, it's the page I tried to give you back in the morgue in Bright Falls. Huh. Now that I think about it, maybe Dor brought me here to keep you from reading it. Here. You're gonna make us do it, huh? I'm gonna keep looking for door. The closer I get, the closer I feel to waking up. I need to find the man behind the curtain. Warling door walked across the rain slick tiles of Caldera Street Plaza. He stopped at the door to the construction yard. A poster for his talk show hung there. He stepped through. Willing it to take him to Parliament Tower Plaza. I know what I need to do. The door to Parliament Tower Plaza was at the construction yard. This is 
the first time I've seen a page about Warlandor. Who is he? A door that stands between two rooms is in both. A door that can lead anywhere is everywhere. That door is the center. He governs the currents of reality. With all the powers mixed up in this, it's hard to know who's playing who. I'm glad to hear someone acknowledge it. Opening too many doors. This isn't important right now. I can look into it later. I'm also glad you're acknowledging that this is a lot to drop on you right now, considering you'd never even heard of this door until just now. The page describes him moving through the door. How can I do that? The dark place has many faces and many names. It is a mirror reflecting all possible realities. The family of doors have the power to shift between these realities. Here and elsewhere. If I can find a way to navigate through this nightmare, maybe I can find a way to get back home. Well, he just told you a lot more, really, than uh, the conclusion you came to. And it's all we've got for now. We have got to get to the construction yard. Of course, Saga herself has no such maps. And Parliament Tower seems to have uh, absconded, since we're no longer playing as Alan. No, no, instead... Instead, there's something else. I understood what I had to do now. I knew how to write the ending to Departure. There is light and there is darkness. There's guilt and there's atonement. But the scales always need to balance. Everything has a price. There's a long journey through the night back to the light. It's not a lake, it's an ocean. All this and more, tonight with Mr. Door. Hey, I should probably write his marketing. This seems familiar. I made it. I need to get up to the street and find that statue. Well, I guess it's a good thing Alan left this place in a better state than he found it. Although with not so many lootables around. Enough already. There it is, stretching off into the clouds. The welcoming wagon here waiting for us. But we can deal with it. There's the shoebox. The clicker, and some kind of bullet, shining with light. How did the clicker get here from Washington? How did you get here from Washington? Are you really questioning that part of the story? Bullet of light. Okay, you're gonna be an actual thing. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, where'd you go? There you are. Die. Come on. I can never tell if headshots are actually landing on you when you do that flash of light. Like, does that mean I'm hitting a critical area, or what? You stagger like I am. And you die like I am. So that's good. Nope, 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 nope. I don't really have a lot of flashlight battery to be using on that. Well, there goes our ammo. There's a phone. Yes? Hello. Uh, you don't know me, but you need to listen. Hold on. How did you know the clicker would be there? This is important. Alan's lost. He doesn't have the ending. He needs your help to finish the story. How am I supposed and to And your help credit card number. Here? Okay. I'm in the dark place. 
Wake is in Washington. I could talk to him in overlaps before. My mind place is more powerful than I ever knew. I can try to contact him. Let's do it. Profile mode? Profile mode. I've reached out to you like this before. But I understand more about it now. You see a visions too. I used to think they were ideas, inspiration, but they're real. Just like this now. I try to use them to make the story come true. So this is coming from both of us. Maybe that's how we could communicate in the overlaps. We could use this to stop Scratch. First, I need the ending. We... We have a separate Discord that we didn't tell Scratch about. So there's a problem with the ending? I don't have the ending. It has to be perfect, but I don't have time to figure it out. I don't know what to do. Fuck. I'm so sorry. This whole thing is a fucking mess. I agree. But we can still figure this out. And what exactly does perfect mean? The elements of the ending need to come from the story's pre-existing parts. To make matters worse, this is a horror story. You don't need to tell me this is a horror story. Right. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. There must be a way to bring a hero into the story. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I can't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. I have an idea how to help Casey. He's a real person who I twisted into a character. He isn't my creation, so he isn't a suitable host for the Dark Presence. I can write that into the ending to drive that fucking thing out of him. Well, we finally answered that. So the ending has to be earned, set up by the story. You can't build a case without supporting evidence. That's the only way to make it stick. Well, if the ending has to fit the story, this is how I see it. Return is a story about a story that comes true. And I'm a character in the story. Not just a character, the hero. Okay, a hero. <laughs> In any case, I've been through hell to be here. And this is my life. It feels earned to me that I rise above the story and be there to create the ending. Yes. That's what we're doing. Here, now. We're figuring out the ending I need to write. Co-commentator and now co-author. This isn't Scratch's ending, but this isn't your ending either. This is our ending. You aren't the only one deciding these things anymore. You're right. I can't do this alone. Every time I write, things only get worse. You beat this thing back in 2010, Alan. And here you are doing the same again. You're a hero too. We're in this together. Then let's bring it home. The ending will have to be dark, no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost, and the hero must pay the price. One of the heroes. The scales always need to balance. <sighs> Fuck it. Let's go with this. Are you sure? There's no time for anything better. 
Scratch could be here any second. Then that's our ending. I have the clicker. I'll find a way to get it to you. And I'll get the pages down. See you on the other side. Alice essentially saved us in the end. Let me trace my steps back to Caldera Street Plaza. I arrived in the dark place through the fountain. Maybe I can leave that way too. Let's hope. Okay, so how do we do that? It was through. Do we have to go back through the subway? Preferably ignoring as many of you as we can. really really do three bullets to my name two charges on the flashlight oh wait did i open this before and not realize it hang on grab you and yeah you know what that actually uh, that sort of answers some of the questions i had about how this was going to go forward yeah i mean i'm i'm good with that Of course. Nope. And it still gets me anyway, so that's cool. I see some things don't change. Alright, we need we need the flare. There's still you. <laughs> Look at you trying to hide behind the pillar like that. Peter. One more. Now, my destination. Always the most aggressive when it's most desperate. Alan? Saga. I finished it. The ending we talked about. I have the clicker and the bullet of light. Let's do this. I have to be the one to do it. I feel like I've always been on this journey. Okay. It must end here, this darkness. What lies under the surface now shifts. A play of shadows catching my eye, thrusting my face into the water. He's here. It's shockingly cold. Past the mirror of the surface. And I will see. Can I see? The end. Scratch! Now! flash pierces the shadows and reveals the hidden horror and in that moment of silence the whispered message finally heard subterfuge to get our price of admission. Darkness not as a monster, but as emptiness. We're none the wiser. No answers, no truths. The hero turns to look inside. It's destroyed by what he sees and is redeemed. Saga said we're both heroes. I'll pay that price. So will she. We are here to kill the monster. I pray nothing comes after this. Nothing was sleep. This is how we win. Is it too easy? What if this is still the dark place, another dream to wake up from, always coming back to the beginning? The memory of what came before burned away by this terrible realization. Maybe it's a mercy, forgetting, to know nothing when we loop around, back to the...
Well, there's your answer. You cannot leave us on that. Oh, come on. There's so much we still didn't learn. Maybe, maybe the answers to those things are in some of the collectibles that we didn't find. The, the rhymes that we didn't pick up. But that was Alan Wake 2, and... What an absolutely brilliant, just, I want to say game, but really more audio-visual experience, because while it takes the form of a game, it's certainly interactive, but it's got so much more going for it. It is using virtually every medium in order to tell its story. Gameplay, music, writing, and even film in this last episode. And all of it, it feels so... It's weird. This game is doing such bizarre and unusual things with its storytelling, and all of it feels so appropriate with the narrative that's been established. And what a worthy sequel, not only being such a huge technical achievement like sequels to games are expected to be, but it feels so much deeper and richer as a story. It brings back old characters, not for fan service, but in a way that actually fleshes them out more and makes me appreciate them more than ever, giving them so much depth that wasn't there before. And doing so in a way that isn't out of left field, but actually expands on what was already established. Remember that Alan Wake was, for the time, quite deep itself. In that way, it's just such a good sequel in every aspect, building on what's been established, not only through here, but also through the greater universe that Remedy has created. I haven't played Control, and I don't know if I will play it on the channel, but seeing the ways these things tie in, it's just, I don't know, it's got to be such a trip for people who have been with Remedy through all this time. But I think my favorite thing about the way its story is told is that it kind of actually retroactively rectifies my biggest problem with Alan Wake 1, which was that the game felt like it kind of took place in a bubble, like it was telling this very personal horror story that was so personal practically nobody else even acknowledged it was happening. It wasn't until this one that we pull back and widen the scope in a way that not only makes all of it seem so much more real in spite of being more bizarre, but doesn't diminish the personal story that was told the first time around, and in fact brings it back so that the personal story is even better than before. This game was a real tightrope to walk, and honestly the 13 years was worth the wait. I can see they've had a lot of time to think about this, because there's really no angle that leaves things worse off than before. There's nothing I regret about this sequel coming around. It's just really awesome, and I feel like it's sort of, in the sort of smaller way, doing what Red Dead Redemption 2 did to gaming as a whole. Ooh, there's a post-credits. That's not Thanos. This part is just for you. 
After the haunting started, I got in touch with an organization that was still looking into what happened in Bright Falls. I went to their offices and... something happened there. After I got home, I could suddenly remember everything. I remembered being trapped inside that lake. A dark ocean with with echoes of myself. My 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 fears, my photos. Inside a dark tide of of madness. We were in our own day, Sex Machina. You were ours and deliberately. Again. And then I saw a light. Your light. You dove in just as I swam out. You never drowned. And you're still there, reaching out. That is what the haunting is. I can see you because I've been there, too. I chose to come back to the dark place. That is why I put on this exhibition. I had to mislead you. So that I could get you to where you needed to be. You were the voice on the phone. The only way out of your loop is destruction or ascension. Light or dark. And we've covered the destruction part many times over. And we're getting to the ascension bit by bit. Time means nothing here. You'll still need to go through the loop. But I will keep showing you the images you need to see. The light you need to see. Until you're ready. Ellen. I think we're getting close. It's not a loop. It's a spiral. So there was more for you. <laughs> Alan, your story is not over yet, and it's all thanks to Alice. Uh, this is exactly what I was talking about! That is so cool. So they've taken probably my least favorite character from the original game entirely because she was just such a passive MacGuffin. But we find out here she is actually the key to salvation. Deliberately due to action on her part because of the reason why Alan loved her so much. Because that's who she is. Because she never gave up. And I'm glad that Barry did get to appear at least in some way. Uh, for all we know, he dove in also after her. Or who knows, maybe he fell in while he was on vacation. Point is, I'd like to see him again in some way. But once more, that was Alan Wake 2. Absolute masterpiece of a game. And I know there's so much that I missed. I'm going to be coming back and playing a lot of my own time. I'm, I'm not going to be filming all that. Because as a series, I'm definitely ready to be done with it. But good lord, what an incredible... Just... Like I said, I hesitate to even call it a game. It's an audio-visual experience. Just based on the fact that it attacks this thing from all mediums, which is so appropriate. It is just so appropriate that it does that because of the nature of the threat we're facing. It's so meta, but it's meta not just in a way that you point at the screen and go, Oh, I see what you did there. It's actually such an integral part of the story, and it makes us feel like we're part of it. That's... Audience participation. Audience participation all the way down. Tell you what, uh, I'm just going to sit here and let the credits roll by, but... Well, if you like this video, if you like this series, if you like this game, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. It was worth the wait.
you know, I just went downstairs, had a conversation with my family about how awesome this game was, and got an ice cream sandwich. You're telling me this thing's still going? Uh, how many people does it take to make a game these days? You can't get the stupid wrapper off. It's like stuck by the by the ice cream. Come on now. There we go. Peel it that way and I can at least start eating. There we are. Perfect. Separation. No chocolate came off. That's the arc you all were waiting for. <sighs> You've been through an emotional roller coaster on this ice cream story. You know, I suppose that's kind of what this game is about, huh? I mean, in a sort of like secondary, even like third sense, it's sort of a celebration of creativity, right? Oh, there you go. Now you have this little commentary right here is your own little post credits, all four of you that stuck around this long. And the rest of you can listen to me eat this ice cream sandwich. It doesn't really make a lot of sound when I eat the ice cream sandwich, but you know, you know that it's happening. All right, I finished the ice cream sandwich. Those of you who have been waiting for the end of that story, well, I mean, I feel like it's important to tell smaller stories within larger stories. The larger story, in this case, being this absolute mammoth of a credit sequence. But at least if you're hearing this, it means we were all here together. You know, I find that, like, Finland is really disproportionately present in my life right now. I mean, it was so important to this game, where it was fairly absent in the first one. One of my favorite games ever is Infra. Just saw Sisu the other night. Played the crap out of Finland in Hearts of Iron 4. I don't know why it's becoming so relevant to me all at once. Oh, I just played Lempo. That was a good game. Oh, you should go watch Lempo. Yeah, it wouldn't be a post credit scene if you didn't have a plug for some other series, right?
you know, at this point, this is actually going to significantly add on to the render time. Wow, these credits are like half an hour long. I can't say I'm complaining. The reason this is still being left in is because I said before, I'll just let the credits roll and, well, that would be a pain to edit out at this point. Eh, whatever. To quote the Great Simpsons movie, a lot of people worked really hard on this and all they ask is that you memorize their names. Oh god, hang on, no, we're actually, we're reading all of the localized voice- um, I'm gonna speed up now, simply because, like, uh, uh, I actually can't have it go on this long. This is gonna be a huge file size. Okay, the playtesters, there we go. Alright, see, there's excitement in, in the post-credits. There's actually, uh, there's ups and downs, highs and lows, moments of danger. Thank you to everyone who helped us by playing the game. You are welcome. And now we're going to see in the credits everyone who played the game. Every single person. Ooh, personal words. You know, it's moments like this where you hear the words of the developers that you realize what a journey it must have been for everyone who worked on this game. I mean, this being their return, the thing they were working so hard on to get it right for so long. It must be amazing to see it finally released to such positive reception. Must make it all feel worth it. The paychecks were probably good too. Aw, oh, babies! Oh wow, that's a lot of babies. I suppose it's kind of inevitable with this size of a production, but still. 
and pets even more. Okay, we're in the tech licensing now. Usually that means the end. This this is the mom's having coffee stage of the party you don't want to be at. It's after cake and you know that these are the final things before you finally get to walk out the door. Now oh, we've been on these credits for a while. I wonder if I'll still be able to refund it. Oh, we've been on these credits for a while. I wonder if I'll still be able to refund it. The journey through the night continues. Oh, please don't tell me you've got another post-credits for me.